Hey everyone, it's Big Z and welcome back to Hollow Knight. I'm doing this right after the last episode because I'm super excited for this area because I want to show y'all what's going on. Some of you may have to like, I don't know, uh, turn away. It may be a little too gruesome for some, you know, just as a just as a warning. But here we go. What are you guys doing? Stop that. That is a nice person you are beating the crap out of. Oh yes, you are so scary. You're not the first bug to yell at me, you know. The hunter kind of beat you to it. Are you charging? Yep, okay. That is like the one thing I learned very quickly in the game, is that down striking is very important. Or at least it comes in handy a lot. And moving around. If you can move around. Most of the time, it's a huge help. Don't go over there. Don't go over there. There's a venge fly over there and I don't feel like dealing with them right now. Stop, you're gonna hit my buddy. I think you already killed him. It's not nice of you, you know? Don't call down more of your babies. That's cheating. My only buddy is freaking dead on the ground because of you. I don't get any help. Oh, I thought you were- Stop calling your babies. That's annoying. It's super annoying. No, and dang it. Come on, I wanna do this without healing. To show my improvement. Because I would like to- Ah, god dang it, I freaking called him over. God dang it. I would like to think that I have improved. Are you just gonna like pace up here? Stop going to areas I can't reach you. Okay, but at the same time, stay out of my personal space. This is not a barbecue. Do not get all up in my grill. Other freaking 2008 jokes. There we go. But ba da ba da ba da ba So much Dorito dust. Because we're all elite gamers here. Hey, buddy. How you doing? Are you okay? Gosh, that looked really rough. Are you done? What do you think you're doing? You dare come between me and my prey. Is it a habit of yours to scurry about getting in the way and causing bother? Know this, Kerr. I am Zote the Mighty, a knight of great renown. Cross me again and you'll find out why they call my weapon the Life Ender. You know what they call my weapon? Steven. Yeah, don't know many people who call their weapon Steven, do you? That's only because, like, you know, it's an elite thing. You know, only the best name their swords. Generic white guy names. Uh, you know, me a miss. What are you still bothering me for? I'm a knight. I'm not interested in your childish games. I need my rest. Be gone, lest I draw my nail. Okay, big guy, you're all talk, so I guess I'll believe you for now. Bye bye it was nice to meet you, Zoth the Mighty. Maybe you can give me a few pointers someday. I don't know, if you feel like it. When you're, you know, not too busy being awesome. Okay, cool, so that's done. And now we're near the area that I wanted to be. But I don't want to deal with you. Oh, but there's Geo. No. Don't let money make you do stupid things. There are other things that need to be done first. Such as this thing over here. Hey, buddy. Oh, I didn't know I could hit you. No. Bad. No wheatgrass. No wheatgrass. Hashtag no wheatgrass. I don't care if it's good for juicing. Uh. Come on. Come at me. I'm trying to save a baby. You're a real asshole if you're, like, protecting... Or, I guess, huh, trying to keep a baby captured. I don't know. Either way, you're an asshole. Let the baby free. Let the baby go free. Please. Dude, I countered your strike. That makes me feel like a badass. Hi, baby. Okay. Also, I repeat a lot of, like, noises in this game. Like, whenever we find Cornifer, I'm probably gonna end up singing his little song. Or, uh, Myla's song. Her little song that she does. Hey, weren't we just here? Wow, it all comes full circle. This game, man. Its maps are super confusing, but at the same time, very convenient. I'm also wasting soul. My bad. Okay. Cool. I don't think we want to go down that way yet. Not quite yet. Some big things are gonna happen in this episode. I'm just sure of it. Could, you know, could be intuition. Just a gut feeling. I just feel like, you know, this is gonna be a good area for something big to happen. Hey, what's up, bestie? Okay, sheesh, easy. Come no closer, ghost. 
I have seen you creeping through the undergrowth, stalking me. This old kingdom, a terrible thing, awakens. I can smell it in the air. I know what you are. I know what you'd try to do. I can't allow it. Okay. Hi, Hornet. This is my second favorite song in the game. May I mention that? If I don't uh, die from being an idiot. Well, there we go. It begins. Oh, the stupidity begins! I'm just gonna stay quiet so you guys can really, like, you know, appreciate this music that's going on. Like I said, it's my favorite, so I'll let you guys listen to it for a little bit. Okay, you getting up? Oh, yep, you got up, you got down with the sickness, and you absolutely murdered me. I don't appreciate that. Come on, why can't we be friends, Hornet? I just wanted to do some bestie bracelets. That's all I want. I remember at first I thought like the different words she said meant different commands, like she was gonna do different moves. And that's somewhat accurate, but it's not completely accurate. Like, sometimes she only says a certain word, or I guess a certain sound with a certain move. But, like, this game is very physical, I guess. Like, there's a lot of physical tells, visual tells. So, once you get to know them, it makes it a lot easier. Whoops, walked right into that one. Okay. Oh, pfft, stop doing that, you freaking jumping bean. I am the only jumping bean there is to be. Words. I'm the only jumping bean. Don't try to take my style. Don't mess with my steez. <laughs> whoops, 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 whoops. Okay. Okay, alright, okay, alright. No, give me five seconds. I need the five second rule. Oh, there we go. Okay. That's super satisfying. Bye, Hornet. I still want to make Biffle bracelets, so long as you don't hold that against me. Oh, that's so nice, though. I remember it took me four tries to get through her the first time, so to be able to get through on my first try, oh, it's so, I don't know. Like, I haven't played the beginning of the game since I, you know, since my first playthrough, I guess. So it's just super nice to see how much improvement has been made. What's this? You have taken the Mothwing Cloak. Press right trigger to dash forwards. Use the cloak to dash quickly along the ground or through the air. Yay! Well, I guess that's everything. Can we go now? We. Yay, now we can go! Whoop! The fuck is this? Would it break the seals? It cannot be undone. They must be undone. undone. Let us sleep, little shadow. Return to your darkness. Allow us our peace. What are y'all talking about? Whoa! Okay, cool. I came here for a fight. Got a spiritual thing going on. You okay? You okay, little marshmallow bean? Aw, oh, what a tough boy. I don't know. I think of them as a boy, but they're not. They're gender non-conforming, I guess? I don't know. Because, like, when the other characters talk about him, they say they, rather than him. I just have it stuck in my head that they're a boy. So. They're my best boy. Hit. Oh, wait, no. Hit, hit. There we go. Nothing like little random noises to help you get through a puzzle, to get through some platforming. So now we have the Mothwing Cloak, and I'm going to be super obnoxious with it, because, like, whenever I don't want to get through, or rather, when I want to get through an area super fast, I'm just like, come on, let's be through here already. So be prepared for a lot of dashing. So we get a something else that may, you know, make us go faster in the future. What? Who said that? Not spoilers, not I, said the fly. Okay. What's in here? 
Hey, what's up, Coral? Oh, hello there. Seems we both tread far from the path. I can hardly believe those dusty old hideways led to such a lush and lively place. This building suggests some form of worship, though its idol has clearly been long forgotten. Doubles equally well for a moment's respite. I always wondered if they named him Quirrell because he has a mask on the back of his head so it looks like he has two faces, like Quirrell from Harry Potter. Because if they did that, it would just be another reason why I love this game. Okay, so we found the Lake of Oon, which we can't really do much here. I just want to check real quick. Nope, no fake wall. Okay. I guess we can go then. Let's go see uh, what's out on the pier here. It's beautiful this time of year, isn't it? Wouldn't you agree? Okay, he's the strong silent type, so I guess we'll just keep going. Ow! Oh no! You hurt me! No, no. Not nice. Not nice. Here I thought you could be my only whatever you are friend, but you don't seem too keen on it. No, all the Geo fell down there too. God dang it. I mean, that was my plan. I wanted to knock him in there so I didn't have to fight him for the entire time, but I wanted the Geo. I wanted to be lazy and still get my muns. It's not how life works, I guess. Okay. Moving right along then. What should we do next? Because, like, the fight with Hornet is, like, the big thing in this area. I guess we could still keep filling it out. But at the same time, now that we have the dash. I'm trying to think of where we should go next. Because there's an area in particular that I really 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 want to go to because it's going to save me a lot of backtracking in the future. Um, but we have to stop, you know, in a couple other areas before that so I don't know if I want to like go through and do all the big story stuff um, in all of those areas or if I want to like fill out each individual area and then move on to the next one. I don't know. I think we'll fill out this area for now, because like I said, I like it. It's my favorite area. Spend all day in here. And I have. I have absolutely done that thing. Where like, all I've done is like record for a full day. Just non-stop Hollow Knight. And just spent all day in Green Path. It was lovely. Okay, I guess we'll head down here now. That's true, I need to find babies too. I want to find babies before we move on. Because I won't keep track. I'll lose track of all of them. There's so many. And I looked up the number, it's 46, I believe, so. A toll machine with the symbol of a stag. Insert Geo, yes please. Oh, yo, that's the other thing, sorry. I started like saying yo ironically, and like dope ironically, but like now it's actually becoming part of my like regular speech patterns, I guess. So like it's becoming slowly less ironic. So I apologize if anyone finds that annoying. Um, but there's like, there's a charm in here I want to get, but I'm not sure if I want to get it now or if I want to wait until we get a certain ability. Um, that makes it a hell of a lot easier to get it. But then again, it would also make boss fights easier. I don't know. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything we can get in Dirt Mouth. I guess we could go look. Why not? Take a little road trip. Because I got all the pins from Isadella. Um... So really the only thing, the only person left I can go to is Sly right now. Or no, there's someone else we can go visit. You guys want to go visit another friend? Now that we have the, uh, the Mothwing cloak? Go and fill out the rest of, uh, uh, Forgotten Crossroads? I don't know, there's like so many different ways to play this game. Like I can go to all the individual areas and get all the abilities and then go back and fill out the map. Or we can fill out the map now, or we can like, now that we have this ability, we can go back and fill out Forgotten Crossroads. Um, I don't know. The world is our oyster. Rancid egg. I found this under the counter. Some creature must have laid it here while I was stuck down in the ruins. I suppose you could buy it. I won't miss its odor. Um, not right now. We don't need it right now, because I can't unlock the thing that we need it for yet. I guess I could, but I don't really want to. I don't really use that one. This one helps you stand still, because like when you fight, like occasionally you'll see when I like smack at someone, I go backwards a small bit. Um, so this helps you stand still, but I've never, like, for the most part, unless it's like I'm, I'm on a very tiny platform, I've never really had to use it, and even then I just jump strike. Um, so we'll get this so you guys can see what this is. Item purchased. So basically what it does is you get four fragments, I believe, and then you can get an extra little vessel there. 
an extra little life. And I love how Sly just stands there and watches the whole thing happen like, yep, this is perfectly normal. You're getting a whole bunch of weird stuff thrown at your body. Perfectly content with it. Um, that's all, that's all we can get for now. So, maybe this trip was a bit early. Maybe I should have waited until we had more Geo. Because, like, the next thing I want to get, I guess, is the lantern. And that's, like, I think that's the most expensive thing that he has right now. Um, because it comes in handy in Forgotten Crossroads and Green Path in particular. Like, it comes in handy, you know, in other areas as well. But, like, this early on, you can already use it, so it seems useful. So, maybe we'll save up for that. Maybe I'll, like, farm in between episodes and get Geo. But at the same time, I feel like we get a lot of Geo just playing the game, you know, normally. So. There we go. I don't know. Like I said, a lot of this is like, I don't know. I guess I'll just play the game how I like to. But at the same time, I'm kind of nervous because I feel like other people who have played this game and like love this game are going to be like, you're doing it all wrong. So. Maybe that's the case. But maybe doing it wrong is the way I like to do it. I don't know. Different strokes for different folks. Okay. Ooh, money. Mun, 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 muns. Try saying that eight times fast. Mun, 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 muns. That wasn't eight times, but whatever. <laughs> you get the idea. Okay. What areas can we go to? We can go to so many areas, but I don't know where to start. That's another thing, too. Like, I feel like people are gonna think I'm weird because I keep striking all the walls to see if there's a false wall. It's like, what are you doing? Why Why are you doing that to your nail? Because I'm crazy. Oh, hey. No, come back down. Come, da come back down. Try to eat my sweet little marshmallow buddy. Nah. Joke's on you. I have a nail. I just got my nail done. Not really. That's something you can do later if you want. You can go get your nail done. Um, yeah, I don't know. Like, I think, I don't think there's really much else we can do. Like, there is stuff we can do in here, but there's not much I want to do, I guess. Like, I just want to find the babies. But I can't remember for the life of me where they are in this area. And I've never been able to, like, a, that's the one thing I wish they did in this game. I genuinely wish they had, like, a system to show you like they had a pin to show you where all the the babies are like I know it would make it too easy because that's like half the fun of uh, finding them is finding them I guess but like some of them are you know behind hidden walls and stuff like that so I guess by how yeah go down okay I guess by like giving us the uh, the locations it would kind of ruin the surprise but they don't have to give us the locations of the ones that are hidden is it down here? Yes, it is. Okay. Sorry, I'm trying to, like, remember where whoo, the charm is. That little goop, that orange goop was chasing me. Is it down here? I want to say it is. Or is it up there? I don't know. There's too many possibilities. Oh, there's too many choices. This game is lag central, though. Or this area, rather, is lag central. I don't know why. I feel like that's one of the few reasons I would, I'd, you know wanted to learn more about developing games so I could better understand why some areas are laggy and some aren't. Like, the only conclusion I can come to is that, like, there's a lot of characters in that area. Or, like, maybe because, like, it loads two different backgrounds. Because, like, it has, like, the, the more blue tone for when you go into, like, the Forgotten Crossroad part of it. And then it turns back to, like, the green area when you head towards Green Path. Um, sorry, that's a wall that I'm just running into like a dingus. Um, I don't know. Those are like my guesses, I guess. I don't want to mess with either of you. Ow, I still don't want to mess with either of you. Because that was not the way, I don't think. I don't know, half of this is just guessing. Because I don't remember how to get around this area. Like I said. Like, you come back to it. Go down there. You come back to it. But like, I don't know. Again, it's one of those things where it's like you go back and forth in the map so often you don't really remember anything. Don't group up on me. I don't like when you guys do that. Boop. Boop. I don't want to mess with any of you. I don't got time for that. I'm trying to find a thing. 
Why don't I find the thing? You know what, that's the magic of video editing, is I can find the thing and you guys don't have to deal with my tedious uh, wandering. So let me find the thing, and I'll be right back. Okay. This is not the thing I was looking for. Much like, you know, the droids. This is not what I was looking for, but it's still important. So we'll roll with it. I do not have a map for this area. Story of my freaking Hollow Knight career. Story now of my Hollow Knight life. That's the other half of it, being an idiot. <laughs> like, I don't know, you would think I would remember this stuff, but most of it's just like, eh, I guess this this is this is okay. And then the game's like, no, it's not. I don't think it's okay. I'm gonna make it so it's not okay. I have to eh, mentally prepare for this, because it sucks. Yay, I got one Geo out of that giant thing. Maybe, maybe the treasure I've been searching for all along is me. Whoops. No, no, don't both of you do the thing. Oh, you're both doing the thing, that's not okay. This took me forever to figure out and it's kind of sad because like it's really not that hard to figure out. Come on, throw more of your babies at me. You just stand to one side. Journal updated. Because when you get too close to them, they kind of like go in their little hidey hole. So you can stand to one side and the one will stay closed until you defeat the other. And then you switch sides. It's that simple, but it took me like three tries to get it. I don't know, it's one of those hindsight things where it's like looking back on it, I'm like, I was such an idiot. But like now, or I guess back then rather, it was like I was panicking because I was like, this is a really tough fight and I don't know how to deal with it. Okay. You died quickly. Okay. I don't remember hitting you though. I don't know. Uh, oh, I, <laughs> I was like, I think it's up here, but I can't get up there. So did I just do all that for nothing? So we have the balder shell. And this is one of my favorite charms because it comes in handy so often during fights because if it wants to open um no not the soul thing no this is a pain in the butt to maneuver to protects the bearer with the shard shell while focusing on soul so like well while you're in the middle of a fight if you're focusing the shell kind of encases you um so like if you're about to get hit you can still safely like heal it's one of my favorites You just hopped right into action, didn't you? Get away. I want that Geo. You're not gonna stand in the way. Ow! You are gonna kill me though. Pfft, probably. I remember this area in particular was super frustrating. Because there's two of them. I was trying to do it without alerting the other one. But it's not working. So we're gonna get both of you. There we go. I also don't like using the soul power unless I have to. I'd prefer to save it for healing. Because I'm an idiot. Eh, get away. You know what? No. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. Actually, I think we can- uh! Oh shit! Nope. Peace out. Peace out. Peace out. Peace out. I am not dying here. Um... Okay. Okay, okay, okay. I don't know why I'm so, like, adverse to dying. It's kind of like a regular thing in this game. But I want to see how long I can go without fully dying. Oh, this is making me nervous. Okay, you come here. You're like... You're kind of an easy kill, not gonna lie. There we go. Oh, I feel slightly better. Okay. But now I have to get through this area. Oh, pray for me. Okay. Okay. I want nothing to do with any of you. Just let me go heal. Let me go sit on my bench. Aw, oh, let me update my map. Okay. Cool. Well, that means the thing I was looking for is in the original place that I was looking for it. Um... But I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and leave this episode here. Like I said, we kind of like did all the important stuff for this area for the most part. Like I said, the fight with Hornet is like the big thing. Um, and there's like a charm you can get in this area. Yeah, go to sleep, little buddy. You've been through a lot today. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and leave this episode here. Let me know what you guys want to do in the next episode. And if nothing happens, then I guess we'll just continue down Green Path. But that's going to be it for now. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And of course, I do want to thank you all for watching, and I will see you in our next little adventure. Bye!